In this week's blast of wildlife news, Australia approves its biggest ever coal mine, Scotland ramps up marine protection, an ironic twist for Beatle George Harrison, and how to fix a porcupine for under $5. All this and more in your Two Minute Roundup. Starting out in South Africa, where a juvenile humpback whale was found stranded on the beach, get the full story on EarthTouchNews.com. Scotland's marine reserves doubled in size this week as 30 new protected areas were declared. It's great news for the resident basking sharks, but MPAs need proper management, or they just become lines on a map. From good ocean news to bad, Australia has given the go-ahead to build its biggest coal mine yet. Indian coal giant Adani is set to clear over 20,000 hectares of bushland to build the mine, which raises big questions about the impact on both the Great Barrier Reef and the region's water table. Off to the states where North Carolina's Duke Lemur Center has released data on the lives of 3,600 different lemurs. Their meticulous record keeping makes this a one-of-a-kind resource for primate scientists and conservationists around the world. And now it's available online, for free! On to some news that's literally out of this world. Five geckos got lost in space this week. Luckily, Russia has regained control over the scientific satellite and its gecko passengers. Why send lizards into orbit? To study the effects of zero gravity on lizard lovin'. Yeah, that happened. But the space gecko story isn't the only animal anomaly this week. A bottlenose dolphin was spotted in England's River Severn. Seeing dolphins this far into the estuary is very uncommon, but Nellie, as she's been nicknamed, will most likely return to the sea without complication, and probably with a belly full of river fish. And staying with interesting fishy discoveries, a team of scientists has just returned from an annual research trip in the Bahamas to study the small-toothed sawfish, one of the most endangered fishes in the world. One of the goals of this project was to determine where sawfish in the area are going, and how they use their habitat. From water to land, and a bit of irony, a tree planted in LA's Griffith Park to memorialize beetle rock legend George Harrison has been demolished. By beetles. The sapling, which will be replaced ASAP, has been standing for over 10 years. We're wrapping up with a video you just have to see. A porcupine in Sao Paulo, Brazil has been saved by a YouTube tutorial and some cheap plumbing parts. The little guy was set to be put down after he was found paralyzed in the road, but an intern from the Piracyaba Municipal Zoo stepped in with a $5 DIY wheelchair. That's it for this week, but we're always on the lookout for cool stories, so if you've got one, head over to our website and hit the contribute button. We'd love to hear from you wherever you are in the world.